So we want to create a mesh to fit inside the uh, framework here. If you're not looking at creating um, the actual models, then the simplest way is to actually just go into a sketch and place a um, image in the space that is required. So um, you'll see that it's still here. So if we go to tools and insert image, I can then go browse and um, select an image that I've downloaded off the internet and go OK. So that brings that in. And then if I lock it in one place using the connect relationship, I can do that. Then if I um, go to right mouse click on here, I can turn off lock aspect ratio and then just drag out the other side to um, roughly the position on there. I can't use connect because um, the image is a set size and it isn't something that stretches um, manually. Alternatively, I could just put in a um, distance in there as well. So um, that gives you the representation without the high overhead of um, multi patterns. So for the second method, we're going to actually create a part that will um, simulate the mesh. So if I just create a new part, and I'm going to work in the ordered mode for this. So I'll start with just creating a sketch. And I'm just going to create a line that is going to act as my um, carrier. So if I hit S for symmetric, and I'll we'll make this 900 long and 45 degree angle. So if I close the sketch. And then what I'll do is I'll just um, extrude along that. So I'll use the um, plain normal to curve. I'll use that to start at the end point and um, just use a circle by center, three more diameter, accept that, and just drop down to the bottom end to create that. So from here, um, what I need to do is just pattern this. So I'm just going to create one half of the mesh and insert that into the assembly before putting in the other half. So um, provided you're not looking at manufacturing it, this is probably one of the better options um, to go with because it's uh, less intensive and um, not so big file sizes. So we'll, we'll go in the middle there and um, I'm just going to create my pattern, rectangular pattern. And for this, I want to use the fit. So I'm going to go, say, 100 in the x direction, one in the y direction. And I'm just going to dimension this so that I can then um, sort of position it. So we'll go 750 and Height wise, I want to go um, so a thousand. And then I'll use my constraint to lock that central. And um, then from here, I can, um, you'll see that we've got the reference point here. Um, I'd rather have that in the middle so that it'll go in both directions from there. So um, if I click on my um, pattern command, um, I'm going to bring it down to, say, 80. And I can then set my reference point somewhere in the middle. So 
and then hopefully that will um, come back to um, something that is going to be sort of quite central. And then from here, um, if I create a cutout and I'll use the coincident plane, and I'll need to go in both directions here. So rectangle by center, um, 630 high and um, 1380 wide. I get the settings right. 1380 wide by 630 and zero rotation. So as you can see that um, 1380 by 630 is what we're after. The pattern isn't quite big enough, but we'll come back and fix that up. And um, we need to go to the side step. We want to cut away outside and uh, we want to go through all in both directions. And that gives us something that we can work with. So if we go back to our um, pattern command, so let's get rid of that dimension. Let's just center it using the here so that gives us our um, mesh. So if we save that, and then come back into our assembly, we can then drop that back in here. And from here, I want to show the coordinate system because that's what I'm going to use. So um, to start with, I want to have a um, offset of 1.6, and then change that to 0, and just align the other planes here. So that gives me my um, half the mesh. So from here, um, I want to offset that. Let's, let's see. It lost the original offset, so we can add that back in. As you can see, it's sort of come across. And then what we can do is to complete this, we can just put in that again on the opposite side. So if we go to our mesh and rotate that around so that it's the right sort of orientation for what we want to do this time. And again, we will show our um, uh, coordinate system. So again, we can align that with that.
base planes and then we want to have a 1.6 offset this time and there you have your um, mesh um, so yeah hopefully that gives you some indications patterns are um, uh, quite intensive in terms of um, file size and display time so I found that this is probably one of the best ways of creating that mesh.